Hey, this is Chris Roper from the IGN PlayStation team, and I'm here today to talk about God of War 2. Sony Santa Monica Studios' is follow-up to the original God of War. Back in 2005, when the first game was released, we gave it a number of our awards that year, including our overall Game of the Year pick, for very good reason, as it's still one of the best action games ever released. The follow-up, God of War 2, uh, actually surpasses the original in basically every single way across the board. Santa Monica Studios has actually managed to uh, one-up themselves and create a better game all around. Every area has been improved, although being that the first game was so good and pushed the PlayStation 2 to its limits already, uh, most of the improvements are minor and, and more evolutionary steps rather than revolutionary steps. The story in God of War 2 picks up where the first game left off with Kratos sitting atop the throne for the God of War. Uh, the story in the second game is deeper, it's longer, it's more complicated than the first time around. Um, there's a lot of character development here where things aren't necessarily right and wrong or black and white, but it's more about perspective. About the perspective from Kratos' view, perspective from the God's view, perspective from some other characters that we're not going to spoil. So it's not so much as, you know, this guy's right and this guy's wrong and you're going to get revenge because it's been done wrong. It's about who really wants power, who, who's being greedy, and what is actually for the, for the betterment of the world. Uh, for Olympus, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and it's a really cool setup that uh, that that we think actually is maybe just a tad better than the first game, but it's certainly certainly up there, and uh, and it's a, it's a great tale. So the combat system in God of War 2 is identical to the to the first game, and for good reason, as that was basically perfect. Um, Kratos has a, a few new moves here and there, um, and basically sort of replacing the last ones or, or tweaking them a bit, um, but in large part, it's exactly the same. So if you you're used to the controls in the first game, you can jump right in, right from the start, and start killing everybody. Um, there are some pretty cool new grab kills where, um, like, you can rip guys in half, or you'll, you'll grab some guy's weapon and chop them to bits with it, or spin them around and stab them with his own sword, which is pretty sweet. Um, but in large part, the combat is exactly the same as before, and that's really a great thing, because I, I don't, I, I can't see how they could have gotten any better anyway, so, yeah, yeah. There's nothing new here, but again, it's it was already perfect. While the game's combat uh, is largely the same as, as the last time around, there are a couple new things. You have new magic attacks, you have new weapons, and you now have the ability to grapple onto things and swing across caverns, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's very Indiana Jones-esque, and, and you know, there's a, especially one scene in the game that's very, very cinematic and, and, and works with that really well. As far as magic is concerned, you have uh, a couple returning favorites, like Poseidon's Rage um, and something to do with the Medusa's Stare, um, but you can get a couple new ones, and all of them are very cool, all of them are very useful. Um, as was the case the last time around, it's sort of more important, especially at the beginning of the game, to use your red orbs to power up your Blades of Chaos, or Athena's Blades in this case, um, but, uh, but all, all the magic is really cool this time around. Uh, there are also a handful of new weapons, which I don't want to get into specifics about, so I don't want to ruin them. Um, but they're all they're all really cool, and uh, the game does a really good job of letting you switch between them on the fly in the middle of combos and and, and use them well. And all the new weapons have, uh, have have good purposes; so they're not sort of throwaways like you might have seen before. One of the things that made the first God of War so good and so memorable was the epic scale of the whole game. Uh, set pieces were massive, and the same thing is true for God of War 2, except it's been turned up a notch. Um, You'll, you'll just see environments that are absolutely huge, you'll see them way off in the distance, and eventually you'll go there. There's almost nothing that you see in the game that you don't eventually get to. Um, and there's also a lot more variety in the, uh, in the environments. Although most of the game takes place on an island, and you might think that, oh, we're going to see the same thing for most of the game, there's actually a lot more variety here than there was last time out. So, while you'll see a lot of buildings that are still made out of stone and marble, or um, you know, metal and fire like last time, you're also going to find underground caverns, lots of wooded areas to show off the foliage system that's in the engine, um, snowy mountains with, you know, flakes pouring down, um, lots of things like that. And what's also very good is that each of the each of the areas are more condensed, so you're in and out of them quicker, and it helps keep the pace of the game up so you never really get bored of any one area. One of the things that everybody wanted to see more of from the first game were boss battles. There was really only, I think, three big battles in the first game, but they're all fantastic. In God of War 2, there's uh, more than double that. Um, only about three or four of those are actually the same sort of scale, like the opening Colossus battle you'll get into or a couple later in the game, um, whereas a lot of them are actually smaller one-on-one -on -one battles with mortals or characters that are your size. So they might not be as epic or as classic or as memorable as some of the battles in the first game, but these battles actually help tie in the story better, so you'll meet, uh, I don't really want to ruin anything, but you'll meet characters that are more important to the story and not just sort of you know, demons that come from nowhere. Um, and, but even though these are smaller scale battles, uh, they're kind of better in some ways because you're actually using combat techniques rather than um, figuring out a trick to beat it and, and using button combinations. And there's also some of these are very cinematic in the way that they're presented. So basically the, when it comes down to it, God of War 2 is 
a bigger, better experience than we saw the first time out, if that's to be believed. The game pushes the system farther, tells a better story. Um, Kratos is both more vulnerable and more powerful in this game. Um, the enemies that you fight are more varied. You fight there's more boss battles here. Some of them are even better in the first game. The environments are bigger. There's more variety in there. Some of the play mechanics have been honed, and the combat system is back and, and at least as good as ever. Basically, it's an evolutionary step. Um, they didn't really redefine anything. They didn't change the way anything played. They basically just said, okay, here's we have this fantastic engine, we have this fantastic setup, so we're going to take what we did before and just put in more, throw in more, turn everything up to 11, and just basically perfect it. And that's what's been done here. Um, some people might say, well, if it had come out on the PS3 instead of the PS2, you know, we might see more, uh, you know, improvements or might be, you know, an actual leap in gameplay. And we didn't really get that this time around. But, you know, that's nothing to knock about because the game is absolutely fantastic. Um, everything about it is basically perfected. The pacing is, is perfect. Um, you know, I mean, from, from top to bottom, it, it's, a, it's an amazing game. If you own a PlayStation 2 and you don't mind some gore and a little bit of nudity here or there, then you absolutely must play this game.